How's it going everybody? Thank you for tuning in to check out my video and today's video is going to be about something that I was not as aware of as I thought I was going to be. I took about a year or so off from really like anything skate related because as some of you guys know my wife and I have a son and I wanted to be as active of a dad as possible and be there for every moment of his life while working full-time job a lot of overtime but since I've been kind of looking back into skateboarding and kind of checking in on what's new, what's changed, I have to ask the question for at least Thunder, why the hell so many sizes? I just looked on their website and I haven't really scanned it too much, but they have like six different sizes for trucks. A lot of the sizing were geared towards eight and a quarters because eight and a quarter just seemed to be the most popular size for a couple of years and it really kind of gained traction and popularity over the last maybe like two years. It doesn't mean that everybody rides an eight and a quarter. So for any of you guys that are watching saying, well, I don't ride that, you don't fit in the demographic then. But for someone like me who's been riding an eight and a quarter for over 16 years, I have started noticing that a lot of people were starting to ride eight and a quarters and even something like an eight was considered a smaller size board. and anything from eight and a quarter up was kind of more of a common size. Going into skate shops, looking online, and even just seeing what a lot of the pros are riding when you watch videos on YouTube of them reviewing their setups, eight and a quarter seems to be the most popular size generally. But one thing I saw for Thunder is, why did they gear so many different sizes and they have so many different molds for the difference of a millimeter? Why are they gearing towards eight and a quarter so much? And why are they marketing so many different sizes for eight and a quarter. And so I wanted to just kind of go over that in this video real quick. So I have one of my boards. Uh, I love skate mental, love the shape, but beside the point I want to show you, this is eight and a quarter. Hopefully zooming in will be able to show that. If not, just take my word for it, it's eight and a quarter. And so I have two different trucks. I am going to set up a pair of independents. They have no bells and whistles to it, just straight pair of regular indies, not hollows, just good old faithful regular indies. Then I have, because we're talking about Thunder, I went and grabbed one of my old Thunders that I never set up because I love Mark Suchu. Uh, skating with him as much as I did, it wasn't a lot, but when I did, he just absolutely blew my mind as far as the abilities that he's able to do, the tricks he's able to come up with, and especially the lines that he's able to put together. He's absolutely amazing. But I snagged one of his 149s when my local shop, Yours and Mine Sports, go support your local shop. When they had a set of these, I grabbed one to keep, one to skate. But I wanted to show you, 149 was supposed to be the eight and a quarter size. And then you have, I'm setting it up. Don't have any hardware on it, so you're just gonna have to hope for it. Okay, so right here. All right. So looking at it, when it comes to setups, you either want them to be pretty much flush with the side. And for me, I don't mind it actually being a little bit out. The only thing is they're not threaded all the way on the axle nut, so it's gonna be a little, it looks like they stick out a little bit more, but once I actually tighten them up if I was to use these trucks, they would be pretty much flush with the side of the board, which is more of the ideal type of setup. Everyone's different. I used to ride, for example, 145s on an eight and a half. So there's a vast difference in how people ride their setups. I just was very naive. I didn't know the difference in f as far as like why to set up a bigger size truck. And I just like the designs for some of the older Thunders because I mean, I liked Billy Marks growing up. I like Mark Appleyard. It's, I mean, they're still, still great skaters. Don't hate them now, but I really just wanted to support them so I would get the trucks that they had out. But I wanted to show you that because one thing that I saw, and we'll switch over to the computer, is the fact that Thunder has multiple different sizes and they literally made new molds for truck hangers for the difference of a millimeter. Let's go check it out. So now we have the Thunder website loaded up. I wanna to go to the different sizes. Okay, so we have 143. 145, so 143 is new for me. And you have 145, 147, so the staples are there. 148, 149, okay, so that's again, these are. 151, 161. So 
I was confused as to why they literally went with 151 from 149 because the leap from 147 to 149, I mean, you can see how you have right here, it starts to actually angle down, which helps with locking in for certain grinds. Right here, it's a lot more defined. Here, it's very minimal. Here, it's a lot more defined. Here, it's really defined. Because it's almost like they keep the they keep the standard 147 and then they just extend the lock-in right here. That's just what it looks like. Obviously, it's not how it really is, but that's just appearance-wise, that's what it kind of looks like to me. But it's the idea of like, okay, so they have a 147, a 148, and a 149. And I don't understand why. I mean, before, even like 10 years ago, it was never an issue. It was like 145, 147, 149. And that's it. Like, because you can actually visibly see the difference. Here, again, it's a millimeter. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that noticeable. It's really not. I mean, you have a little bit from the, from the uh, axle height when it comes to, let's go with the team ones, because I'm not, I don't want to go for forge because most people have access to the teams. It's 50 millimeters, 52, and then 52. It's, the only thing is when it comes to something like this, you can't go too low for trucks because eventually you don't have as much playroom as to be able to turn. Therefore, you're going to actually get wheel bite a lot easier. But looking at this, it's just, that's the whole premise of this video. It's not to, I'm not trying to, poke fun of or say anything negative about Thunder, but this is just something that I've noticed coming back into skating, is why are there so many different truck sizes? Somebody needs to fill me in because I'm kind of clueless. I get it, but even looking here, like when it comes to independent, you have the same standard sizes that they've always had, you know, 139, 144, 149, and then so on, but Back then, this is all that they had. It was 145, 147, 149. And so, I don't know. I just, I really don't understand why there needs to be, why they're gearing so much toward the, trying to appeal to the 8.2 to 8.4 range by making such custom sizes to where literally the difference of a millimeter. I mean, when it comes to writing a, a board, I can tell the difference between an 8 two and an eight two five and an eight three some people are really picky like that i've kind of grown to become that way but i mean even looking here on google if you just go to you know just type in like i did thunder truck ads for eight and a quarter this is what it used to be so 45 47 49 and 51 and so the difference here you can see the difference but looking at, for example, let's see if we can find an ad for somebody for Thunder. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go back to the top. Someone has to have an ad somewhere. Okay, here we go. So, Sean, the 149.2, they redesigned the axle for the 149. Oh, here we go. More control for decks 8.2 and up. It's just why are maybe this video more is geared toward why are truck companies trying to gear towards making so many different sizes for an 8.2 and it's it's one of those that i personally have never felt needing to be super picky on the difference of a millimeter when it comes to even wheels i'll take a 152 to a 154 especially if i'm going to be skating a lot of street i'll go for the bigger wheel after a week, it'll probably lose a millimeter anyway, so it'll just gear down towards what I really like, which is 52 to 53. But I'm not really picky. I'm like, oh, well, they don't have any 53s. I'm not going to buy any wheels. I'll get a 52, maybe even a 51. It just depends on what the, what the styles are when it comes to the form of the 4s or the, I think it's the V3 Bones STFs that are flat. But here it's just so many sizes for 8.2. And I again, I get it. It's the it, it's the in size, but I mean, even here, they, they've never derailed from just 39, 44, 49 for just the regular standard independence, but then you have Thunder that's just going all out, and 
it used to be 149 was for eight and a quarter. Then for some reason, I did see an ad. I don't remember who it was, but I did see an ad for 151, perfect for um, 825s and up. And then they now are making 148 for eight and a quarters when it comes to the board width. So that's just my question for this video is why are there so many different truck sizes and they're all trying to compete for a market that did not need it to be that picky. But that's just my take on it. Just a question I wanted to ask you guys. Leave your thoughts and any answers that you have, please leave them down below. I really do want to know what's going on because I need to catch up. It's been a long time. I'm back and I want to be able to be in the know for these kinds of things. I mean, I can just do a little bit more digging, but I want to know from your guys' standpoint because you guys are skaters. You guys have been doing this for a while or even if you're new like what is intriguing to you in looking at multiple different sizes right around the difference of you know an 825 to an 85 but it's the difference in the hanger is a millimeter leave your thoughts and comments down below if you like this video and want to see more please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification be notified whenever a new video comes out and if you like this video please give it a like and share it so that way the youtube algorithm is going to be able to get this video out to more people helps the channel to grow, really does make a huge difference. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.